Hello friends, today I will make chicken biryani in instant pot. This is uh, Indian food and I like Indian food. I hope you enjoy it. It's very good recipe and please don't forget to visit my uh, website tiborko.com where I have all the recipes including this one. Visit frequently because uh, I'm updating this site all the time. And don't forget to subscribe, share and enjoy. Now I will uh, make the chicken uh, biryani. So let's cook! I have uh, two pounds of uh, boneless, skinless uh, chicken uh, thighs and I will cut them into small bite pieces. I let it freeze a little bit so it's easier to cut. So my camera didn't work. I forgot to turn it on. So basically I put, uh, I cut the chicken thighs into small bite pieces and marinate them with one tablespoon of uh, ginger garlic paste plus one teaspoon of uh, cayenne pepper but I like spicy so if you don't like spicy or if you don't want too much spicy put it less maybe half teaspoon or, or don't even put anything plus one teaspoon of uh, garam masala and two teaspoons of coriander powder and now I will do half teaspoon of uh, salt don't put too much so you know you can add any time but it's hard to take it out if you put too much salt and two tablespoon of uh, lemon juice so I put like uh, 20 leaves of uh, fresh mint and I will cut it and a little bit of uh, cilantro and three tablespoon of uh, plain yogurt and now I will mix it together and now I will let it uh, marinate it for at least 30 minutes you can leave it longer even overnight so it's basically better as long as you can but I will just leave it for uh, like half an hour I will cut uh, one medium size onion I will cut it in half ok now I cut one medium onion ok now I press saute on high and I have to press start when the pot will be hot I will add uh, three tablespoon of uh, ghee see that bump it fell and now I have that bump I have to find out where I can buy a new one so I put uh, three tablespoon of ghee now I put uh, two bay leaves and two whole cardamoms and I will start this for like 30 seconds or so now I will add the 
chopped onion. Plus half teaspoon of uh, salt. Okay, I will marinate it actually again for half an hour. So now I will put it there. Press cancel. Now I close the lid. I press pressure cook or manual, depends on the model you have. I have a pressure cook on high and I will do it for five minutes and I have to press start on mine and after five minutes I will do natural release and then a quick release so I will be back shortly okay five minutes is done <clears throat> now I will do like two minutes of uh, natural release so it will be zero zero two and after that I will do quick release okay two minutes of uh, natural release is done now I will do quick release okay pin just dropped <coughs> so let me open this nice I have uh, two cups of basmati rice <coughs> and I added two cups of uh, water and I uh, let it soak for like 20 minutes then I uh, rinse and soak and uh, now I will add it to this chicken. So I had uh, some liquid, probably like one cup, maybe a little bit over a cup. Basmati rice I will do one to one ratio. Two cups of uh, basmati rice and I will have two cups of liquid. So I will add like a little bit of uh, chicken broth, maybe like cup maybe a little bit less than a cup three quarters so I have here a little bit of saffron and uh, like one tablespoon of uh, water so I will put it there I put a little bit of uh, cilantro and a little bit of fresh mint now I will close the lid Press cancel first, close the lid and press pressure cook or manual, depends on your uh, model. I have pressure cook, so pressure cook on high for 5 minutes and I have to press start. And again after that I will do like 2 minutes of uh, natural release and then uh, quick release. Okay, five minutes is done. Now I will do two minutes of uh, natural release and then uh, quick release. So it will be zero, zero, two. Okay, two minutes of uh, natural release is done. Now I will do quick release. Okay, pin just dropped. So let me open this. nice smells so good i wish you can smell it i will take out the bay leaves 
If you feel the rice is crisp, close the lid for a few minutes, like 3 to 5, and the rice will turn soft. Nice. I wish you can smell it. it smells so nice here. So aromatic. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. <clears throat> so, let me taste this. so so good the rice is perfect the chicken is perfect very good not spicy could be a little bit more spicy but that's fine mm. so so good so delicious so aromatic thank you for watching and uh, I hope you're gonna try it and enjoy this uh, food it's really good if you like it please smash that like button and subscribe don't forget to press that uh, bell notification button so you will know when I will post next video and could you write in comments that uh, tell me from which city are you watching my video and uh, don't forget to visit my website tiborko.com where I have all the recipes including this one visit frequently I am updating this all the time share like try it and let me know if you like it and what uh, did you use it so okay again thank you for watching and i will see you next time ciao mm. so good mm. this is so good